welcome back to my channel. So it's been four weeks since I last uploaded a video. Yeah, not, not great. Although I did actually manage to vlog a few times um, over the past couple of weeks. Um, so I guess instead of me trying to like tell you what I was doing, I guess it's just easier to show you what I've been doing for the past couple of weeks. So yeah, I guess, there you go. <laughs> Why the fuck would it be number two? You... One name? Well, who are you, Seal? Fogel? Zaggy says you're 20. How many 21 year olds you think they're on this town? It's a fucking strategy, alright? Stay calm, okay? Let's not lose our heads. It's, it's, it's a fine ID. It'll, it's gonna work. It's passable, okay? This, this isn't terrible. True story. Anyway, so today's video is gonna be on this eye look. So yeah, if you want to learn how to get your eyes all like metallic -y and green and shit, just keep watching. Okay, so to save time, I've already primed my eyes. And the first thing I always do is apply a matte white highlight with a flat concealer brush onto the brow bone. Okay, so for my first transition color, I'm going to take this color here and this big fluffy brush from Inglot. I'm just going to blend that all into the crease. I know this color isn't very dark, but when we put the darker colors on top, it's gonna to help the darker colors blend a lot easier. And you can take it underneath as well. Next, we're gonna take this color here, also from Inglot, and the same brush, and again, just put that into the crease. You can bring it right into the inner corner as it's gonna be dark in here on the outside, and we're gonna leave the middle. Using this kind of flat, fluffy brush here, I'm just gonna bring that same color on the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna take this color here from Inglot and this small blending brush, and I'm gonna be taking the middle color and just kind of applying that kind of closer in. That makes sense. And into the other side as well. And I'm going to bring that underneath as well. Since I want this look to be really kind of blown out and smoky, you can kind of bring your brush and connect it to the top. Taking the same brush, I'm going to go into that darkest color. And then you go back in with your bigger brush and just blend that all out. Okay, now I'm gonna do is take my Inglot Black Gel Liner, a little liner brush. I'm just gonna line the top of my eye and just stop at the edge. Now a little small detailer brush like this and a black eyeshadow. I'm just gonna pat over that liner. And then I'm kind of just bringing it up into the crease just a tiny bit. Now taking this little small crease brush and this dark one, I'm just gonna kind of blend that black out. It's going to be easier to blend out a dark colour like a black with a lighter colour. Small brush again and into the black. I'm just going to kind of pat that in there. And again, blending that out. And then you can just bring the brush just right into that crease. Now I'm going to go in with that liner again and line the waterline. And taking this brush here, I'm just going to smudge that out. Now 
Now I'm taking this brush here, I'm just taking these two, I'm gonna blend that underneath the eye. So now it is time for the pigment. This pigment is, I think, I think it's like my favorite pigment from Inglot. This is it here, okay. So it looks really yellowy, but it's actually more kind of greeny when you put it on. Like it's just amazing. Oh, I love it. Okay, so when applying pigments, you generally want to use a brush that's kind of tightly packed, like synthetic brush. So I'm gonna take this one here. This is actually from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. So see how the brushes are really kind of tightly packed? That's what you want. I'm gonna take MAC Fix Plus and spray that on the brush. And then basically you're just gonna pat it on to your lid. So I'm kind of patting it on, and I'm not rubbing it. And you wanna kind of gently blend out the edges. Oh, I'm obsessed. Okay, so now that the pigment's on, you can just go over the liner. Okay, I'm gonna put my mascara on and lashes, and then I'll show you at the end. Okay, so for the lips, I'm gonna be using Inglot Zip Liner number 63, and this lip pencil also from Inglot number 14. I'm trying to start a new trend as well. I use that kind of greeny pigment for my highlight. I don't know if you can even see that it's greeny. I don't know if anyone can see that it's greeny. No, I feel like you can, but I'm not sure if this is in my light. Like when I'm in public, people will be like, that's green. So this is the finished look. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. I'll leave all the links to my social media stuff in the description box below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.